everyone. Today I thought I would share with you a video showing you my system for storing my Christmas craft supplies and supplies for my December album. I know it is not that long since I did my craft room tour but when I did that my Christmas supplies were still for the most part packed away and since then I have made this little system mostly in this cart and it has been working well for me this past uh, month or so. So yeah I thought I would share that with you. As you can probably tell, I am holding the camera by hand for this video, so it might be a little bit jolty, just to warn you about that. Also, it is super, 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 super windy outside, so there might be some noise of the trees and stuff, but hopefully not too annoying levels. So yeah, for my Christmas crafting and December album, I mainly have this cart and also some drawers behind it with some stuff in, which I'll show you towards the end, but the main part is most definitely this cart here. It is the Hobbycraft uh, craft cart, whatever they call it, which I bought for half price. I have another one, if I slowly move over here, there. Fabulous little things, although I only buy them on half price because personally I think £50 bit cheeky 25 pound just fine but yes by the way if you haven't seen my craft room tour and you are interested in what is going on all around these bits then i will link that for you but yes today we are sticking with the christmas supplies so let's just dive in so for the top level of the car i mostly have uh this year's trim craft christmas collections if you are coming to this video new to my channel i am on the trim craft design team not just a trim craft obsessive well i am that but being on the design team makes me like an official obsessive <laughs> so yes most of this is for like my card making and other design team kind of crafts so i've got a magazine file here which has all the paper pads from this year so all of them everything festive wonder we've got some of the paper addicts pads here little red robin um jolly holidays all the glistens i've got two of those because i did a blog post for them uh perfect christmas down there and i've also got scraps from if i can pull that out Urgh! scraps from those collections in little baggies like that so they don't get lost i also have back here some christmas vellum which i got in like a bumper pack of various vellums and i pulled out all the christmas ones and just shoved them in there this back thing i'll get to in a minute i'll just show you the front the front of the magazine file where i have all the paper pads i have all the little collections sort of divided up so i have these little uh, sort of plastic boxes from the range and i've just divided up the main collection so we've got all the little red robin embellishments in here some of these i bought myself like they weren't sent to me in design team stuff but i had to have them like these buttons which are absolutely gorgeous and then next to that is the festive wonder embellishments all in here again mostly for like my card making and stuff though they will be used in some scrapbooking and then this one i've got the Holtz Couple Ditch Christmas Village. Behind that, just kind of shoved between the space between the boxes and the magazine rack, I've got some of the Festive Wonder stickers and the, the uh, Christmas Village ones, and then also 6x6 Paper Addicts and the 10x10 uh, 10 10 Paper Addicts pads. And then unceremoniously shoved down the side here is again a load of like smaller scraps and things and just random little papers that i've been using and kind of don't have a bag of scraps for these were actually the um free printables for october they were um, no, um autumnal ones and my printer printed them wrong and they came out like this instead of like oranges and um browns and stuff and i was like that might actually come be useful for winter so printing running out not always a bad thing and just like something there from a failed project that i'm sure i can use in something else so yeah that's it for mostly this year's trim craft collections however i do have at the back here because it's not going to fit on any, any other of the drawers this uh, studio calico big 12 by 12 baggy here which has most of my december album stuff so i'm going to bring that over to my desk just so i can quickly show you what's inside here just put you up on the uh, the camera holder for now to give my arm a bit of a break by the way i have been wanting to say this for a while if any of you have been watching my december album prep videos and thinking this woman is an idiot does she not know like the name of the december thing that everyone does yes i do know the name of it but that uh, phrase is copyrighted so as youtubers we have to be careful about that thing so that's why i'm not calling it 
by that particular phrase, especially when I'm doing it for a design team, because obviously, you know, it gets difficult. And who says I'm doing the December memory keeping on a daily basis? I think calling it a December album means that I give myself a little bit of freedom to do it whenever I want to. I was going to be a little bit funny and call it something silly, like a 12th month quotidial, quotidial being an old fashioned word for daily, but then I was like, if I put that in my title, ain't nobody know what I'm talking about, so we're just sticking with December album, and again, I might not even do it daily. Anyway, point being, let's get to the point, shall we? Um, in there, for my album, I have this lovely Simple Stories set called Cozy Christmas, it is the 12 by 12 collection kit, I bought this from Paper Pen and Plan on Etsy for the bargain price of like £9.99 and in it is six sheets of 12 by 12 uh, cardstock, six sheets of cut aparts with 3 by 4, 4 by 6, 6 by 8, 4 by 4, 2 by 12, lots of different sizes, uh, two sheets of stickers and six transparent photo overlays which are beautiful. I'll just show you one or two of these. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So yes, I got myself this little kit for doing my December album. I won't go through it in detail, but I'll just give you a rough idea. I don't know if the shop still has it. If they do, I'll um, I'll link it, but it's just, I love the bar humbug. Brilliant, there's the stickers. And then the cut apart sheets as well. I just love this vintagey, traditional. Oh, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that giant postcard one. I would do like a whole day's like documenting on that. I am looking forward to it. So there is the Simple Stories set. And then in this little baggie as well, I have all of my leftovers from the Thompson's Craft Supplies Frosty Winter Kit, which I have been doing my December album prep with. I will link those videos if you haven't seen them. So just all the bits that I have prepared, oh, that's got a little bit bent, for doing other parts of my December album. So I've cut apart all these lovely strips and there's numbers for the days and stuff. Tim Holtz clippings, stickers, the Christmas ones, love these so much, little Project Life pages some scraps from that kit some scraps of other things that i've used you get the idea there's just lots of bits and pieces i think i've got one full 12 by 12 left from that kit and this sticker sheet as well so obviously not everything i'm going to be using for my december album but this is the stuff like i'm definitely using for it if that makes sense and then i will go to my cart um which we'll go back to in a second to show you the other bits that i'll be using as well both as i said in the christmas crafting and the december documenting okay then back to the cart so top level there and i'm now sitting on the floor to show you the middle and the bottom so this uh, middle section is mostly trim craft stuff again a lot of it is stuff from last year I'm also keeping my Christmas washi and other tapes in here just in this little plastic lid from something so there's my Christmas washi I don't have as much as I thought I did to be honest and my beloved Brussels sprout sellotape from Paper Chase which I bought years ago and I've still got and I will cry when that eventually runs out because I absolutely love it so much Underneath there, I've got two of these long plastic storage boxes, which are by Wham! Exclamation mark storage. Try not to sing any Wham! songs. And then in here, I've got um, mostly, where is it? Twine, Christmas twine in there. And then also, hang on, that should be with Little Red Robin up there. Oh, shocking. There's twine in there, plus these Christmas letter tiles. In this next plastic one, I have all of my Dovecraft Christmas ribbon. Most of this is from last year's collection, but these ones at the front are from this year's and I've also got some scraps just kind of lying around. And then next to that is a lot of Christmas embellishments. So I've got things like Christmas doilies, there's some glitter paper. Most of this stuff down here is all simply creative items again from the 2017 collection. More doilies, I've got some beautiful tags, glitter tags. Uh, wooden pieces, Christmas trees, snowflakes, um, more tags, lots and lots of tags, mini envelopes in gold and silver glitter, some really old Dovecraft paper blossoms, which look at 10p. I got those like a year ago um, in a January sale. 
some Time to Sparkle stuff from last year, just because I love that collection so much, and I think it's really versatile, and you can use it in lots of other things. So I've got lots of bits just all shoved in there. There's frames and all sorts of other bits. And then just shoved at the front of the Simply Creative stuff is a load of the Love to Craft stuff from Poundland, because I think it's so pretty. So I've got lots and lots of these pearls i may have some spare i may have bought multiple i'll just put that aside for now packets of those sentiments uh, sentiment toppers those stamps great stamps those especially for a pound little tags some resin flowers and somewhere down here sorry a bit close let's back up a bit some more mini envelopes I love myself mini envelopes so yeah lots and lots of different embellishments down here and again they're for a mix of card making general christmas crafts and for doing the album and then all along the back here are lots and lots and lots of sticker sheets again most of these are simply creative ones from 2017 because trim craft sent me so much stuff i've still got loads left over but i'm absolutely been using it this year so all the simply creative ones and put that one back down get down so yes all the simply creative ones are here oh I've already shown you that one at the front i think we're coming to a close love these snowflakes ones and then let's just move the car around a bit so i can show you a little better so after that is some of last year's dovecraft so there is time to sparkle again there's health couple bitch wonderland favorite collection last year um and then we've got some of these which I don't even remember where I bought these from, but I've definitely had them for more than two years. <laughs> but just sort of foam stickers here with general Christmas things on. And I think there's a gold pack in there somewhere as well. Some Christmas labels. These are all, for the most part, not new items. There's the gold ones there. I saw someone get something similar and they said they got them from Home Bargains this year. So that's possibly where you can get those from. I've got the Alphas from the Thompson's kit. I've got the Crepe Paper Merry Days stickers, which I'm really looking forward to using. These stickers, whoops, that I bought last year. Very, very Christmassy candy cane ones. And then I've got a load of little stickers as well. So just bringing those onto the floor. I've got these tag alpha ones which i went to use in something the other day and realized i have no a's which is a problem so i've got old brimble stickers old planner christmas stickers again most of this stuff is not stuff that i've bought this year it's stuff that okay, it was in my christmas box and it's just getting used there's some of my own stickers these ones from last year some lovely snowflakes you get the idea i have quite a lot of things just shoved in that hole section some pretty planner ones there but yes yeah, so that whole area there is just chocker with those stickers and those stickers okay then and now we get down to the bottom level so just shoved in the front here are a load of 3d embellishments like little wooden bits and pieces and in here i've got all sorts of things like little mini crackers lots of wooden things i bought a lot of these either last year or the year before from Sainsbury's and they're sold as like decorative pieces or like um you know fancy tags to use on wrapping your presents but they were really cheap they were like £2.50 for a huge pack and are obviously flipping great for crafting so I've got those I'll just pull this whole thing out so we can get a proper look at it this one is a bit of a mishmash of stuff Putting my feet out the way so in this little tub here is mostly tags so yeah tags that i've probably used in previous years for actual gift wrapping and now use them for crafty related things and i'm, I'm on a tag fix at the moment and just using all the tags in my crafting so lots and lots of tags to choose from there and i'll probably make more for my christmas album as well and then in this little box here is mostly like memory keeping stuff so it's things like my little miss paper lover stickers from last year i've got my own little stickers that i made this year and the matching little die cut set big thank you to everyone who has purchased those by the way i hope you like them but yeah i've got those 
to use and then yeah the rest of it is mostly memory keeping kind of stuff so various christmas bits i've picked up over the years that haven't made it into other christmas journaling and stuff like that some journal cards in there some christmas cards i've received and wanted to keep because they were particularly cute or from someone particularly special kind of thing little vintage tag or card there isn't that cute those are real flowers there from bethlehem how amazing is that yeah all sorts of other bits and bobs a load of envelopes i used for cards that i made oh i'm gonna say three years ago so yeah lots of different kind of scraps and pieces mostly for using in my album in there and i have stuff at the back and stuff at the side so stuff at the side is a mix of that was from the thompson's kit there's some little sentiments here i've got some packs of ephemera that i've bought in previous years um list pads it's all totally random but it's all festive and seasonal i thought those would be cute on a card but i haven't used them yet got the uh, turquoise bearded tattooed santa kit from philo fabulous that i bought last year and didn't actually use that much of so i've got that there's like stickers and die cuts and stuff in there i've got this first edition paper pad which i am keeping my last year's paper pads in a different oops stuff fell out in a different place but i really particularly wanted to use this this year because i didn't get a chance to use much of it last year it wasn't actually sent to me as a design team thing so i just wanted to use some of it because it's so pretty look at that isn't it lovely and it's got like a lovely vintagey vibe to it and i'm totally on a vintage kick at the moment so i've particularly put that one in there to remind me to use it i've got uh kiki k christmas bits there's the notepad from the year before last because they don't do christmas notepads anymore sad face last year's whoop, sticker book last year's paper lovers book there i have used some of it i promise and then if we just turn the cart around to see the stuff that's at the side here i've just got some christmas papers that came free in a magazine and i thought they were pretty so i put those in there these again free in a magazine but they've got uh Kaiser craft papers on and i've got the ephemera kit to ephemera kit ephemera pack to match this so i thought i'd keep that aside i've got two of those um oops sorry dodgy camera angle the uh do crafts ultimate paper and die cut packs there's a festive fauna one here which is i can't get out the one that's got lots of like stags and hollies and pine cones and stuff and there's vellum in there which makes me very happy and look ta -da! i actually bought two of those but i gave one away got last year's daphne's diary to cut apart and use for various things and i've got another one of those uh do crafts ultimate die cut pack things i'm not sure what this one is called though because i think the um the front cover piece is long gone but you can see it's kind of got this really traditional um thing going on there i really do love a mix of really modern christmas and really really traditional as well so that is it for the car and i will move on to just a couple of drawers where i have a couple of other bits in so some of you might recognize this little section from my craft room tour it is under my little table up there that is the two by two cube unit from the range much much smaller than a calax so it fits quite nicely under there and then a plastic drawer unit here the only thing to show you here is this drawer which has a lot of oh i'm at an awkward angle hang on there we go so this drawer has a lot of last year's uh, trim craft paper pads in, which I can't really use so much for design team stuff but I will use for my memory keeping I think so we've got time to sparkle magic of Christmas hot couple bitch wonderland love it so much first edition gift of Christmas love this one so traditional and also merry little Christmas down there another favorite purple at Christmas wonderful believe it or not i did have a lot more of this like i had a spare magic of christmas a spare health couple ditch wonderland and i did give a load away earlier this year so yeah be proud in this little pink drawer here i will bring it out because otherwise it's a bit dark but this just has mostly stamps and stuff i didn't really know where else to put them i do use them quite frequently but i couldn't find a place to put them on the car a lot of them are freebies from magazines because that's where i get a lot of my stamps from i've got some wooden ones that were given to me um a while back when someone was de-stashing again some bargain ones that i bought in not this january i'm fairly sure it was last 
January. But yes, lots of little bits and pieces here. Some little hobby craft stamps. I like these a lot. But yeah, so stamps and then some random ribbon in there. I don't know. And some little punches as well. Little Christmassy punches. I've got two Christmas trees. Why do I have two Christmas trees? I do not know. And then in this little drawer, there is stuff in these too, but it's not Christmas related. This one has um, embellishments from last year's <laughs> Trimcraft collections. So things from Wonderland, things from Magic of Christmas and things from, actually not many things from Time to Sparkle in here because as I said, I put them in my cart because a lot of them can be used uh, this year because they kind of match everything, you know, gold and black matches everything. So it's just bits in there that I just can't bear to part with and I will use them one day like the pom-pom ribbon from last year I love it so much don't get me wrong of course I absolutely love this year's collections but I think I'm just a bit nostalgic about last year's because it was my first design team package ever last year's Christmas stuff so yeah I'm nostalgic about it that's what I'm gonna say and I have just remembered that I do have a couple of other Christmas bits that are not in the cart or the drawers so I have this little buckety plasticky thing from the range and here I've got Christmas sequins which I bought from eBay so snowy ones and then traditional Christmas sequin mix and then I have all my Christmas dies in here again I got most of these last year so there's Dovecraft ones in there one cut and make one so just a little selection in there and lastly I keep all my first edition Christmas dies in this little plastic wallet display book thing ignore that that's what it was once used for so yes all my first edition ones go in there and because they're on magnetic sheets already I don't need to put them in my usual you know die storage because yeah the magnets are already there so I can just slip them into these wallets and there they all are so there we go then there is my Christmas supplies and storage for this year for my Christmas crafts and for my December album. Hope you enjoyed seeing how I store all these things. Obviously there are other bits and pieces that I'm going to use throughout Christmas like glittery things, glitter paper, um, bits of sparkly tool and stuff but they're obviously just in my normal stash because I use them for all sorts of crafts so they don't need to be in a specifically Christmas area like this but yeah I am really really happy with this little system I've got going on I've been Christmas crafting my little my little self away so yeah it's been working really really well and hopefully it will be working well during December as well during all the documenting and memory keeping and such so there we go thank you so so much for watching please let me know if you have any questions or anything anything in particular you'd like to know where it's from as I said an awful lot of my stuff is at least a year old I really haven't bought that much Christmas stuff this year but yes I will try and of course if you haven't seen my craft room tour and as I said if you're interested in seeing any of this other stuff then I will link that for you it is very long by the way though it's like over an hour and a half but it's two videos so you can spread it out anyway that's quite enough from me uh please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video chat to me in the comments ask questions all those kind of things I love talking to you guys and yeah okay thank you so much I'm going